Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about our project that goes by the title of Accident Detection and Alert System using IoT. As per Union Minister of Road Transport and Highway, India is among the top countries when it comes to the road accidents. India tops the world in terms of number of persons killed in the road accidents. So, the main intention of our project is to avoid road accidents as much as possible by alerting the driver in case the vehicle is about to collide and also a car might catch fire in case of collision or leakage of fuel or short circuit which produce smoke before and our device detects the smoke and alerts the driver and all this data will be uploaded to the cloud frequently our model consists of different hardware components such as node mcu esp32 HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor, MQ6 gas sensor, buzzer and LED. Node MCU ESP32 is a microcontroller unit which can connect objects and transfer the data using Wi-Fi protocol. It consists of 30 pins and ESP32 is designed for low power IoT applications. Its high processing power with inbuilt Wi-Fi and deep sleep operating capabilities make it ideal for portable IoT devices. Our next device is ultrasonic sensor. It is a device that measures the distance between two objects using ultrasonic sound waves. It consists of four pins VCC for power supply of 5 volts, trigger for sending ultrasonic sound waves, echo for receiving reflected ultrasonic sound waves, ground is used to ground to Arduino. Our device measures the distance based on the amount of time required for ultrasonic sound waves to reach the echo. Next device is MQ6 gas sensor. It is a device used to detect or detect smoke or gas. This sensor is suitable for detecting gases such as LPG, isobutane, propane and LNG. The software used in our project Arduino IDE. It is an open source software which is used to write code and upload the code to the board. ThinkSpeak IoT. ThinkSpeak IoT is an IoT analytics platform service that allows to aggregate, visualize, and analyze live data stream in the cloud. As you can see on the screen, we have logged into our ThinkSpeak IoT account. A new channel can be created by clicking on new channel for the purpose of creating and analyzing the data we have already created our channel by clicking on it we can see our data which is represented graphically here here in field 1 chart it represents the data from ultrasonic sensor where x axis represents time and y axis represents distance and field 2 chart represents the data from gas sensor and here x axis is represented by time and y axis is represented by gas value here you can make your channel private channel to public channel by clicking on channel settings you can modify as per your needs you can also share your channel data either with everyone or any specific people or person by adding their email id we can also download the data in excel format we have opened Arduino software this is the page where we write our code and here we compile the code with the help of it and here we it is used to upload the code for our model and this is serial monitor where results are being printed let me open it as you can see here our results are being printed we have kept uh, and also we have kept a threshold value for our uh, ultrasonic sensor 50 centimeter and when there is smoke inside the vehicle it also shows smoke detected as we can see here and we have kept threshold value for smoke value is 1400 and here we can see 
value its value is 1041491 which is well above 1400 so it is showing smoke detected and that's all about our arduino software as we can see here this is our model and uh, this is ultrasonic sensor this is mq6 gas sensor here is led inside there is uh, node mcu esp32 mounted along with buzzer and regulator this is usb cable connected to our laptop and this is battery outlet for portable battery supply here we can see that our uh, mq6 gas sensor is being subjected to smoke and it will buzz start beeping any time as we can see here it start buzzing and now and now is it is ultrasonic sensor whenever there is an obstacle in front of it it starts beeping as you can see here whenever obstacle approaches it it starts beeping so that's all about our project thank you